Hi, I'm Sandata Yet Villarreal. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction C Language Programming Series. And our topic for today is about the principles of C language programming. So the first thing you're going to identify in programming is that you need to look at the text editor. And in Visual Studio 2012, This is considered to be the text editor. We type here the code and we run a T compiler in the Visual Studio using a C IDE environment. Okay? Now let's proceed with the programming C language as the principles. So the first thing is you need to type char include sddio.h. So I'm going to explain this. As you notice, the first thing I type is a char. And the, the char defines as the prep processor in uh, C language programming. Adjacent to short, we have we have include and include is a directive. in uh, C language. Adjacent to include, we have less than. Okay? So less than is the beginning or the opening delimiter. Open delimiter. And uh, greater than is the uh, close delimiter. Now uh, Inside of it, we have sddio.h, which means sddio, std stands for the standard, and uh, i. stands for input and O stands for output. Now uh, adjacent to SDIO is a dot. And the dot separates file name to extension name. And uh, after the dot, we have edge which means header uh, 
as extension name and that is the first line of code in C language programming the next line is you need to type in main open and close parentheses now explaining this in means integer and integer is one of the data type in C language in C language okay and next we have uh, main open and close parentheses which means a function okay so if you notice if you see um, open parentheses it is parentheses and close parentheses so this two identifies as a function okay so the main function is the main of the program okay after this the third line of code is the open we have the uh, open curly brace open curly brace and uh, the last one is the uh, close curly brace now this two is very important because it cannot be uh, replaced it uh, also cannot be reverted and uh, it identifies the body of a program okay so from open curly base and close curly base in the middle of it, you need to type your code here. Type your code here. Okay? So, if your idea is to create uh, a plenty of programs, so the programmer type right here in the middle of the begin and end so open curly brace identifies the begin of the program and close curly brace is the end of the program okay so after you're finished uh, typing this uh, four line of codes so we have the the first one is the sharp include as the data patch. The second one is integer main. The third one is the open curly brace, which is the beginning. And the fourth one is the close curly brace, which is end of the program. Under the line. Now you will notice also that uh, we have a yellow color here. Okay, 
so if it is yellow it means to say it is not yet uh, compiled okay and we cannot identify if this is considering having error or not so what you need to do you will notice in the upper part of our window of Microsoft Visual Studio you notice this one local windows debugger what you need to do is to click this button so that we can identify what would be the output of this and you will notice it this yellow color will change if there is no error so let's try clicking this button now uh, Microsoft Visual Studio the project is out of date so language debug win32 would you like to build it? yes of course and you will notice that the yellow color has been moved away and it was been replaced by a green color. Let's click yes. And uh, you will notice build started, build succeeded, and it pop ups and it goes out again. Now, uh, it meant to say there is no error in the code. The principle is right, but the problem is how to identify the output of this code. Now, on the upper part of this window, there's a, what you call debug in the main menu. You need to click this one, and you will notice we have a start without debugging control F5 if you're going to use the keyboard and start debugging F5 if you use also keyboard now let's check by clicking start debugging okay or you can press control F5 on the keyboard let's do this one now if you will notice it is almost similar as it pop up and it goes out without noticing what is inside of the output screen so what we need to do is to click the third part which is start without debugging control f5 okay let's proceed and you will notice it hold the output screen so that we can identify what will be the output of our code as uh, we finish now you'll notice on the output code we have here press any key to continue there is no word here like uh, press any key to continue so it is on the compiler of the uh, C++ programming language under Microsoft Visual Studio 2012 and uh, is all about and um, thank you for your time watching this video for more videos uh, look for my uh, email sybillionjunior 0105 at yahoo.com.ph good luck